And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. Where today I'm talking more about Boogie Pop Phantom, and particularly an important theme in Boogie Pop Phantom, that of memories. Memories crop up a lot in this show. And not just as a, as a theme, they pop up literally in Boogie Pop Phantom. First off, I should point out, this is going to be a spoiler-full video. So I'm going to talk a lot about Boogie Pop Phantom here and what's going on. Particularly about the theme of memories. Excuse me. Memories. We're talking about memories. Where, in the show, you will actually see memories represented visibly in the form of those little fireflies that float and flicker across the screen. That's right, those are memories. When folks approach them and touch them, they see an actual memory. And this turns out to be an important thing all throughout the show. Remember, Boogie Pop Phantom is about various characters and the abilities they've gained, the supernatural powers they have. Some of them can read people's minds. Some of them have telekinetic abilities. And the question becomes what they do with those abilities. And it turns out much of what they do with those, with those abilities are based on their past and their memories. Very often, uh, and we see this especially in episode one, um, a character's past experiences and what they learn from those past experiences determine their behavior today, even when that behavior is not very effective for their current situation. Episode two is all about memories, as the main character is literally eating people's memories so that they will let go of the trauma that they experienced with those memories. Later episodes of Poom Poom, they're all about erasing all of those complex adult memories and all of those difficult to deal with moments in your adult life and just reverting to a simple childlike existence where you live entirely in the moment. No real memory of your past. All you know is your name, perhaps. But otherwise, you're just this, this completely carefree child, which means you can never grow. You can never accomplish anything. You're just stuck as a child. And yes, it's freeing, and yes, it's fun, but you let go of everything else you could possibly be. And that's one of the important things about memory in Boogie Pop Phantom, is that its point is that memories are often painful, but also memories teach us. Memories help us become better people. I always go back to Star Trek V about this, which a lot of people haven't seen Star Trek V. I think it's a terrible movie. I actually really like Star Trek V. Anyway, um, in it, it's actually very similar to Episode 2 of Boogie Pop Phantom. The, the villain is not erasing people's memories, but blocking them, essentially. Making people not, deal, not have to, to worry about the, the memories anymore. Um, and he refers to it as um, uh, healing their pain or erasing their pain. And Kirk replies, I don't want to lose my pain, I need my pain. You know, my pain is what defines me. It, it's one of the things that helps me learn to do better next time. Or if not better, how to do it differently. How I should behave. Painful things are very important and helpful things. So you see that over and over in Boogie Pop Phantom. People have these painful experiences and often learn the wrong lesson from them. This is doubly important in a show like Boogie Pop Phantom, which is clearly aimed at a teenage audience. People who are still forming their views of the world. One could say Boogie Pop Phantom is all about revealing various viewpoints on the world, various ways that people approach living and judging them. And one of the things you, can, you often do is you ignore your past experiences. You ignore those memories. But there's another flip side of that, which is actually, in my opinion, more interesting and also 
much less talked about in media in general. One of the themes of, of Boogie Pop is about being careful about the memories that you actually make. Because if memories are that important to learning how to live, you should be really careful about what memories you make. We all go through our lives making memories, exposing ourselves to things. Boogie Pop points out that sometimes you're exposing yourself to things that will not be very helpful to you in the future. We see that later on with the, the character who um, spends all of his time playing, let's be honest, lowly hentai video games, you know, visual novels. Um, we don't see all the ones that he, he plays, but we see that his favorite is this lowly visual novel. Lowly as in L O L I, by the way. So we see that he's spent so much time building so many memories around this fictional character in this particular fictional context that he starts acting it out in real life. And he's doing that because that is his life. He's he's reinforced this, you know, these hentai scenarios in his life or in his mind so often that it's only natural for that to bleed over. If that's how you spend all your time, you know, the mind's going to shift in that direction. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that somebody who spends a couple of hours playing a violent video game will go out and shoot people. I'm not suggesting that. But what they are saying is that your time, the things you expose yourself to, do go into your brain. They are in there. And they don't have a, a direct, immediate, one-to-one, -one, you know, impact. But they are going to have some impact eventually, given enough stimulus. Indeed, this works into a, a theme you see later on in the show, which I'll talk about in another video. This question of who's worth saving. Boogie Pop is actually going around collecting people, collecting humans, humans with powers, but not all of them. Boogie Pop's, own, Boogie Pop Phantom actually, uh, is doing this and is only interested in certain one of them, certain ones. They're the ones that Boogie Pop Phantom considers worth saving because they're the ones that actually, you know, have the potential to do interesting things with their lives. Um, Early in the show, we're introduced to a girl who's always talking to Ponoru. And here is where I think this really comes together. She's always walking with her friends Ponoru and chatting, or her friend Ponoru and chatting with her friend Ponoru, who's giving her all this advice about how you have to be distant from things. You know, you just don't hold on to things. And later on, we discover that Ponoru is dead. Um, and she's not talking to a spirit, she just couldn't deal with Panaru's death, so she started acting like Panaru was still alive, and going around and pretending that Panaru was talking to her and giving her this advice. And so when she, when this girl is confronted about this by Boogie about Phantom and realizes she's been living this lie, she then surrenders and says, all right, take me. And Boogie about Phantom says... You're not worth taking. Because she held on so much to that, to that memory that she warped her life around it. She spent her life in that memory. And it devalued her, her, productive, her, her effectiveness, her ability to actually think and behave and be useful to other people. She was so withdrawn as a result of that memory and, and of holding on to that memory of defining her life based on the fact that she had lost this friend that she hadn't been able to do anything else so it's really important um, and it, it's, it's really significant to the show that somebody who doesn't seem like a bad person 
you know, she's not evil, necessarily. She's just completely wrapped up in things. But the fact that she got wrapped up in things to that extent means she's, you know, she hasn't gotten anything else done. And so she's, you know, not worth including in this project. That says a lot. Uh, we see it in uh, the, the girl who uh, practiced the piano, the, the piano girl, where one bad thing happens to her, and that's it. She slits her wrist. She's done. Um, because that one memory decided to define her. Um, you know, when you... When you build your life around certain events and certain moments, um, it's not healthy. It's not helpful. And, because, and we all have ups and downs and big moments in our lives. But we have the, those are always the minority. Um, and Believe Hot Phantom reminds us of that. Reminds us that life is big and complex and includes a lot of people and a lot of connections. And we can't lose sight of that. We can't lose sight of... We, we can't focus so much on our past that we forget to live in our present and forget to build our future. So that's Believe Out Phantom and the question of memory. Um, I'll be back next time with plenty more on this subject. Hope this has been helpful. I uh, hope this explains a bit more about where the show is coming from. And I hope to see you next time.